Guess what makers, the Bubble Stitch Cardigan by Paintbox Yarns continues to be one of your favourite free knitting patterns at Lovecrafts and I'm not surprised, just look how fun and cosy it is. It may seem like a daunting project at first, but once you've nailed the basics of the Bubble Stitch technique, you'll be flying through your knitting. Let me show you how. The bubble stitch is worked over a repeat pattern of 12 rows using the knit four stitches below technique. So as you can see here, these two rows of bubbles in red and pink make up those 12 rows that are repeated in the pattern. You can find the free pattern in the description below and start making this gorgeous cardigan. For my demo swatch, I will be using Paintbox yarn, Simply Super Chunky and eight millimeter knitting needles. Let's get started. If you're knitting the bubble stitch cardigan, the pattern will tell you how many stitches to cast on depending on which section of the garment you're knitting. But for the purpose of this video, I will be casting on 19 stitches for my swatch in the first color. So multiples of four plus three stitches. And I will be using the long tail cast on. Now that you've casted on your stitches, you need to knit five rows in stocking stitch, starting with a purl row. So all of your odd number rows should be purl rows and all of your even number rows should be knit rows. Here are my five rows in stocking stitch and it's time to change to the second color for the sixth row. This is the row we start the knit four below technique. So to begin, we're going to knit three stitches. and now a knit four below stitch. And to do this, you're going to slip a stitch from your left needle and you're going to unravel this stitch until you have four ladders. So to do this, you can use the tip of your right needle carefully to unravel it. So one, two, three, Four, and you're going to put this stitch behind the leathers at the bottom and you're going to knit this stitch as if it were a normal stitch. So you're going to put the tip of your right needle through that stitch under all those leathers and you're going to knit it as if it were a normal knit stitch like so. And there's your first knit four below stitch. And again, knit three. One, two, three. Now you're gonna knit your second knit four below stitch. So slip stitch from your left needle and then unravel. One, two, three, four. Push this stitch behind the ladders and knit the stitch as if it were a normal stitch. So this stitch is what helps create your bubble texture, as you can see. It sort of tucks your stitches on either side of the bubbles, which is what creates this 3D effect. So now continue to knit three, knit four below until you have three stitches left on your left needle. Three. 
I've just knitted my last knit four below stitch, so to complete the row we knit the last three stitches. So we're now halfway through the 12th row repeat pattern. We need to knit five rows in stocking stitch with this same color. Again, starting with a purl row. Five rows of stocking stitch done and look at that those bubbles are really starting to look amazing against that second color now for the 12th row and final row of the repeat pattern we're going to switch back to our first color so to the red I'm gonna cut off the pink And this time we're going to start by knitting one instead of knitting three. And this is because we want our bubbles to sit in between the previous set of bubbles here. So we're gonna knit one. And now we're going to start the knit four below technique. So slip a stitch right off your needle, drop until you have four ladders, four, push the stitch right back behind the ladders and knit it as if it were a normal stitch, a normal knit stitch. There we are. And that's our first knit four below stitch. And now for this row, we're going to repeat knit three, knit four below until we have one stitch left on our left needle. One, two, three, knit four below slip off the needle, one, two, three, four. Now with these sorts of fibers, they can get stuck. So you just need to carefully undo them, push your stitch behind the leathers again, right needle through that stitch under the leathers, and knit it. I'm gonna keep repeating this. I've knitted my last knit four below stitch and to finish the row, I'm gonna knit the last stitch. And there's the 12 row bubble stitch pattern complete. I'm gonna repeat it one more time until I have 24 rows in total. So two more rows of the lovely bubbles. 24 rows of bubble goodness done. And I can't get over how fabulous this 3D texture is. If we take a look on the backside of our swatch, you can see here, the little Vs in pink and red, that is where we did our knit for below stitches. I've actually got some more swatches on the side here to show you. You can knit the bubble stitch in other exciting color combinations like this cheerful yellow and white. You could experiment with a gradient of colors. This actually reminds me of a temperature blanket. You could knit a temperature bubble blanket, that would be fab or a temperature bubble cardigan even, super unique. Or if you want to go really simple, why not knit all in one color? It would be even more beginner friendly not having to switch colors. And it would also save you from having to weave in 
all these ends from the color changing. I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm actually a beginner knitter myself and learning this bubble stitch technique was amazing and super simple. I'm here to show you that you can do it too. And just like that, you've become a pro at knitting the bubble stitch. I'd love to know if you've given it a go or will you be challenging yourself to knitting the whole fabulous cardigan? What colors would you knit it in? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more amazing crafty tutorials and guides. Happy knitting.